Hi, I'm Christopher B. from Chef B TV, and we're going to do a mango zango salsa today, featuring, of course, zango, nutritional health beverage. This salsa today isn't staying true to form with a salsa. It's not a southwestern dish, but instead we're making an Asian. We're putting a Thai flair on it to uh, obviously pay homage to the birthplace of the mangosteen and also to Joe Morton's pilgrimage there to discover our, our beautiful, delicate fruit that we have. What I'm going to do here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off, talk about the ingredients. I have three cups of mangoes here. I add that to the bowl. We have our peppers, both bell peppers, and a little bit of poblano pepper for some heat. Also for some heat, we're going to go ahead and add a Thai sambal. And what a Thai sambal is, is a, a red pepper and garlic paste. And usually the sambals differ in, in heat. This is a kind of a mild sambal, but it's got a light, nice garlicky, vinegary uh, flavor to it. So we'll add that to it for some heat. Now, what you want to do next is we have this red curry paste. Now, red curry paste is available in most of the specialty food sections in your grocery stores. But what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this red curry paste... And we're going to have to, what I call, bloom it. And we're going to use, obviously, our Zango with, uh, to bloom this in because you don't want to get a big chunk of this red curry paste in your salsa. That is, so that will send you through the roof. This stuff is very spicy. But it's got a nice heat to it. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and add some cilantro to cool that down. So while we're sitting here blooming that, we'll go ahead and add our cilantro, some red onion, garlic, of course. Then we'll go ahead and here in our green onions and the holy Asian trinity, which is ginger, garlic, and scallions. You'll see that through the recipe. We have some grated ginger here. We'll go ahead and add our bloomed red curry paste to this, along with a little bit more zango. A little bit more Zango. A little bit more Zango. And a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Don't forget to season it with salt and pepper. Mix it thoroughly. Now this salsa will actually be better if you let it sit overnight. All the flavors will blend together and everything will marry together. And you will have a delicious... Mango Zango Salsa. And we'll go ahead and serve it with some of our beautiful fried wonton chips, which again are available in any fine grocery store. There you are. Mango Zango Salsa. Thank you.